This is the Kingston HyperX fan. I was not expecting to receive one of these in the mail, but I did. So now we're going to be doing an unboxing. Memory is not included, which Kingston so helpfully points out right on the front. This is one of the sharper looking memory fans that I've seen. We'll have a closer look at it when I get it open. But let's have a quick look at the specs, which we'll find on the back. Features are maximize your performance potential with HyperX memory and probably any other memory. Twin fans direct airflow onto the memory modules and the blue anodized fan assembly fits most gaming systems. It is whisper quiet at 28 decibels maximum and it is uh, 12 volt rated with an 8 volt to 13 volt operational range. So they are saying that it can be undervolted. The fans spin at 3000 RPM and why don't we get this box opened up? I will use my handy scissors to slice open the packaging, which did not work at all. And so what I will do is I will use the scissors to cut a little gap in the packaging and then I will peel it back with my hands. Cameraman is giving me one of those looks like, what are you doing? But I don't care because I'm not accountable to him. So my phone's ringing uh, back at my desk, but there's nothing I can do about that now. Here we are. We have a warranty and installation guide. So it is 100% tested. That means that it's not like like 60% tested where they test like the metal and the one fan and don't test that fan 100% tested with an infinity lifetime warranty that is awesome this is the only ram fan i've seen with a lifetime warranty and then here's a quick installation guide and i guess i'd better get started on uh on this installation process so that i can actually show you how to do it on camera before you get bored okay so we find the which is quite wide, and the camera turned off, I'm not sure why. The, uh, the fan has got a braided sleeve on it, and that is a very high quality sleeving. You can tell because you can't see the silver color of the fan wires at all. You can just see the black braided sleeving, looks very nice. These appear to be LED fans, although I, um, I guess I'd hazard a guess that they're probably blue, but I don't know for sure that the LEDs are blue. But they have one, two, three, four LEDs on each fan, so this is gonna look quite sharp when it's installed in your system. So here, let me, I'll just kind of put that there and you can sort of visualize what it's gonna look like while I work on getting the clips out of their packaging here. I got one clip out. So the clips look like this. These are actually really nice. I, I'm a little bit surprised because unlike some of the other Ram fans I've seen, they use like quite a thick gauge of metal for the clips. It's got a nice blue anodized finish. It's actually got quite a bit of glitter to it. So it's quite sharp looking and they've got the Kingston HyperX X in both sides there. So it's very Kingston branded, but you kind of expect that when you buy a product that's basically just designed to sit on top of your other Kingston product and it's made by Kingston. Okay, so these thumb screws come with the washers pre-applied. So someone uh, is, is actually putting washers on every thumb screw before they ship these things for you, which is pretty great in my opinion because you see so many products these days that just have sort of, you know, a bag of, here's all the hardware. Oh, this I like, check this out. Okay, unlike, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and call out the Corsair one here. Unlike the Corsair one, there's that here. Actually, let me put the screw in first before I say this is really good because it might be terrible still. Uh, hold on. Okay, that goes in there. So there's a little washer. Okay, so that just screws in right there. And then let's do the other side really quick. So that just threads right into the top piece. Oh, shoot, I put it in the wrong way. Uh-oh, hold on. Trouble, trouble, back up. Abort, abort, there. There, now it's in the, oh, actually, hold on. Maybe it goes here then. Does it go there? No, no, that's for the fans. This goes here, yeah. Well, we'll find out one way or another. Based on how short these screws are though, I'm assuming it goes kind of in the top there. So I'm just gonna, yep, there we go. Get that there. Oh, oh it went in the other place again. Oh, there we go, I figured it out. Okay, so this wasn't as easy to put on the clip as it initially looked like it was going to be, but I still give Kingston kudos for having like a place where it just kind of sits and is centered because the Corsair one is like really hard to hold in the right place while you're trying to put it on. And um, that makes things a little bit more difficult. So, you know, I kind of, maybe what we'll do is we'll just, um, we'll grab a power cord from somewhere. I don't know if I have one in here and then we'll just like turn on that system so you can see what it looks like when it's on too.
That would be pretty cool. So let's get this last screw put on here. Cameraman's getting impatient. He's not even like looking at what I'm doing anymore. He's just holding the camera. He's just, you know, phoning it in. Okay, so here we've got uh, a fan header right there. So in order to apply this, you want to go ahead and close all of those. So you put the clip over the one side of the RAM modules. Here, cameraman, come over here so you can see what I'm doing here. So you put the clip over the one side of the memory modules and then you put the other clip over here. Now you can see that it's not going to sit quite even because of the way ASUS designed these memory slots, but that's not really a big deal. The HyperX fan sits quite high up over the memory, so you'd actually be able to use tall modules, whether from Kingston or, or some other manufacturer, without the memory fan getting in the way. So that's, uh, that's a pretty cool feature right there as well. So here, let me see if I can find a power cord. Yeah, I got one. See, look, even cameraman has uh, has PC power cords lying around. He's learning from the best here. So let's plug this in, and then uh, you know what? I don't think I even have the motherboard plugged in, so you're gonna have to bear with me here for just a second while I plug in the 24 pin. I wonder if that's gonna be enough to get to start. Yeah, hey, that looks terrific. And here's something to be cognizant of. Um, I got to move it over a little bit because it was actually interfering with my CPU fan. So you don't want to move it over so far that it brushes up against the CPU fan, but that looks great on the Rampage 3 Extreme, which I, I wouldn't have really expected because it's a red and black themed motherboard, but you go and put that like blue on there to go along with the blue CPU cooler and it uh, looks pretty cool. It's blowing down a fair amount of air and uh, I'll stop talking for a minute here and let the cameraman move in close so you can hear how loud it is. I'm just gonna stop the CPU fan. Cameraman move close so they can hear. You can't really hear it anyway because it's pretty quiet. Anyway, there you have it. That is the HyperX fan unboxing and, uh, and first look. And it looks pretty good at first look. Thank you for checking out my video blog. Don't forget to subscribe.